What does a more infectious virus mean for our fight against COVID-19? It implies that we must continually adjust our strategies and raise our game to keep COVID-19 under control. Specifically, there are three things that we have to do more of and do faster. Testing, contact tracing, and vaccination. First, we must test faster and more liberally and extensively. Many different types of COVID-19 tests have become available. For example, antigen rapid tests, ART, saliva tests, breathalyzers, wastewater surveillance, even sniffer dogs. We've been using some of these and evaluating others for some time. Each of these new tests is suited to different use cases. They can be deployed to many other places too. And soon you'll be able to purchase DIY tests over the counter at pharmacies. They are simple to use and not so uncomfortable. You can administer these on your own. If you are worried that you may have COVID-19 and want to put your mind at ease, or if you are a frontline worker and want to test yourself frequently, or even daily, with faster, cheaper tests, we can do routine testing at more workplaces, like offices, restaurants, and shopping malls. We can also routinely test individuals whose occupations involve close contact with many people and could result in super-spreading events, like taxi drivers and bus captains, physiotherapists and masseurs, stage performers, sports and fitness instructors, and educators. All could be tested regularly. Second, we will contact trace faster and more widely. Our contact tracing operations have vastly improved. Trace Together helps them identify and quarantine close contacts of an infected case within hours rather than days. With safe entry, they can identify thousands of people who had visited the same places as infected cases and inform all these potential contacts to come forward for a free COVID-19 test. Third, we will vaccinate more people and faster. We've made good progress since vaccination started in December. The next group to be vaccinated will be students. In this latest outbreak, we've seen more cases of children getting infected in schools and tuition centres. The children were not seriously ill, but parents are naturally worried. Therefore, we will take full advantage of the June holidays to vaccinate students. We will give priority to the graduating cohorts for O, N and A levels, as well as special needs students. Then the other students, 12 years and above, will take their turn, including students in our institutions of higher learning. After the students, we will vaccinate the final remaining group, young adults, 39 years and younger. This should start around mid-June. Finally, I want to make a special pitch to our elderly. Your response has been excellent. We will make the process even more convenient for you. If you are above 60, you can now walk into any vaccination centre and get vaccinated on the spot. No need to register, no need to book in advance. Just turn up at a vaccination centre and you will be jabbed. And everyone who is eligible for a vaccination and wants one should be able to get at least their first jab by National Day. Whether you're old or young, please come forward to be vaccinated once it's your turn.